Every rainy season in Southern California, millions of gallons of precious rainwater fall into the roofs of California homes, wash down our streets into storm drains, and end up in the ocean, frequently with pollutants. What if you could capture the rainwater, save it, and use it to water the landscaping around your home? In this video, we will show you how easy and inexpensive it is to capture rainwater by building your own rain barrel. You will be helping the environment by decreasing reliance on our water supply, reducing erosion, flooding, and pollution. You will be saving on your water bill and feeling good about what you are doing for our planet. To begin, you need a container that can hold water. For this demonstration, we are using a 55-gallon plastic trash bin purchased at a local hardware store. You will need some tools and supplies. Two half-inch galvanized couplers. Three two-inch by five-eighth inch washers. One seventh-eighth inch spade drill. Construction knife. Two two inch by five eighth inch rubber gaskets, four three sixteenth inch screws, nuts, and washers, half inch spigot, tape measure, wrench, power drill, flat screwdriver, 3 16th inch drill bit, safety glasses, gloves, wire cutters, and screen material. For the overflow valve you will need one half inch hose adapter, one half inch coupler, two two inch by five eighths inch washers, one two inch by five eighths inch gasket. Now you're ready to build your rain barrel. The first thing you want to do is cut a hole in the top of your container to allow the rainwater to come into your barrel from the downspout. In this demonstration, we will measure the length and the width of the hole to be cut. When you cut your screen, cut it a half inch larger than what you measured your hole to be. You will attach the screen to the inside of your container lid like in this video. Now cut the hole in your lid. Using a 3 16 inch drill bit and your screen as a guide, drill a hole in each corner like in the video. Place a 3 16 inch screw and washer in each hole. From under the lid, place your screen and secure it with washer and nut. Tighten all screws with screwdriver. Now you need to drill a hole for your spigot. You want to make it 4 inches from the bottom and center it.
Using the 7th 8th inch spade drill, we drill a hole in the container. Take your spigot, slip on a washer and a gasket, and place them in the hole. From inside, slip on a washer and a coupler, and tighten it. Now you will attach an overflow valve. It should be about 2 inches from the top of the container and centered. Drill a hole. Take the overflow valve, slip on a washer and a gasket, and place them in the hole. From inside, slip on a washer and a coupler and tighten it. Now you're ready to collect rainwater. During heavy rains, your rain barrel might get full. In this case, attach a hose to your overflow valve, using the extra rainwater to water your plants. The screen will collect leaves and sticks. You will need to clean it often. In this section of the video, we will show you how to connect two rain barrels together. That way you can collect more rainwater. You will need to cut a short 1 inch PVC pipe. Use this pipe to connect the barrels together. Using a 1 inch spade drill, drill a hole in each barrel about 2 inches from the top. Make sure you align the holes evenly. You do not want one higher than the other. It is always good to have a raised foundation to place your barrels on. This will give you room to connect your water hose. Cock around each pipe and you're finished. Remember, saving water lessens reliance on water supply, reduces erosion, flooding, and pollutions, saves on your water bill, and will make you feel good about what you are doing for the planet.